guys, we're gonna do another one just to show you guys. <laughs> Close, so I ended up taking advantage of this free time and went on and picked up some dry eyes for the FD. I have to take all the satin off the floors because this weekend's getting dropped off for a cage. I think I have like 25 pounds of dry eyes. I think I might got a little too much, but it was still cheap. Then I go to the shop, put that down, uh, and then start working the rest of the car to get it rolling so I can get the cage under the car so I can keep going and make more products on the drift car. I think I'm just gonna not rush it and clean up all the shippers and leave the floor, basically everything in the floor. I have to figure out how to do this. Or I might just leave that, so that one because it kind of helps like keep the keep the transmission into the tunnel, not outside. So I might just leave this on the sides and just take out the floors. Honestly, the FD only has this here and that's all it has for sand ending. So it's not, it's not a lot of work. Over here, might be too hard to get in there. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try to do the most that I can. I never done this before, so we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. This all over the floors and just wait. It's been like 20 minutes. I think it should be ready to go. So I'm just gonna put everything in this box and then wait and see how much, how much, basically how much we took out of it just by the sun ending. It won't be a lot, but it'll be something. Just gonna go stop it around with a hammer and then hopefully she just pull off a one piece.
all the sound in is off the car now so it's super clean and now i have to do is clean up the part where the where the cage is gonna go where it mounts to on the front and the back and i also just wanted to test these pieces that i got for so these are for the i'm not gonna run carpet for right now black carpet for this car is 900 dollars. these are cheaper so i got these from my boy uh bubble tech and they just make the car look a little bit nicer when you take the whole interior out so this is gonna sit right there i mean once the interior is all painted black it's gonna look nicer and this one is for the other side i also got these from him basically the base place for the cage so it's gonna open it up now and then see how easy it is when you get these from bubble tech base plate came for the front you get this part you get this this and this and then once you figure out how they go you end up something like this so this now goes directly right there and you have a base plate for your car so for the rear uh has these two pieces so i guess this one goes somewhere like this or like this yeah like that there it is super easy and uh actually durable and after that you just have to make the the back pieces himself here's some of the pieces that came out of the car you see this one was cool this literally was my favorite came out so good and everything else was like literally in big chunks so super satisfying i wish i had more to do because that was literally just so much fun to do so i'm just gonna put the tank up in the car and that should be it for today i also had this leftover from the fc so it's a gk tech hidden hydro i'm thinking about mounting it back here uh and when i get the um, oem handbrake i can just run a cable straight to the back of this and it'll work out and also i mean it's just like this car is getting all the fc parts and might as well just get the steering wheel too so does not look too bad all right another part that showed up is this tank that i got it's uh 94 95 right hand drive tanks the same shit but the only difference is this is a little updated in the top with the straps but the guy did not send me the hardware i got my own bolts and also this thing will say super cheap because it's literally gross so I get cleaned out, get it coated, and then drop in a uh, search tank in here. So right now I'm just gonna mount it up just to make sure we clear the exhaust in the bash bar. And so there's one thing on the floor. And also, I have this on the floor. Literally the turbo off the repo. I wanna put it back together, pot it, coat it, and do a giveaway, but Mike doesn't. Uh, I mean, just let us know in the comments if you guys wanna actually have this thing as a giveaway. If not, it's just gonna go on Mike's collection of uh, hoarding shit. So I forgot that the exhaust was made for the left side of the exit for the FC. So it's not fitted at all. So I have to cut it right here, right at the muffler. Straighten the muffler out super crooked right now. And just somehow made this pipe work straight all the way down to the transmission. And now from there, it's basically I have to finish mounting the turbo before I connect the rest of the exhaust to the downpipe. So I have to get a diffuser so I can figure out where to mount the muffler so it's not just super out of the way. But it's starting to look like a car now. I do need to go home. I have to be with me in the truck sleeping so I can come to work today because Ariel won't get sick except for me. So I just been taking care of the baby. That's why I had no progress made to the car. So I so got today. When guy dries, worked in the car a little bit, and I just go home and put the baby to sleep. And hopefully, we'll be open up pretty soon when everyone gets better. Mochi, how was today's uh, episode? All right, let's go home.